हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू आई एम हरदीप सिंह वेलकम बैक टू योर ऑन यूट्यूब चैनल आल अपडेट्स एंड रीसेंट एग्जाम्स फॉर मोर अपडेट्स रिलेटेड टू रीसेंट आल्स एग्जाम राइटिंग टास्क टॉपिक्स लिसनिंग रीडिंग प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट सो गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आल्स एग्जाम राइटिंग टास्क वन टेंथ अक्टूबर टू फॉर बोथ आई टी एंड पी सी Please hit the like and subscribe button. Press the bell icon for the upcoming notifications. Don't forget like, subscribe, and share my YouTube channel and my Facebook page. Alls updates and recent exams. Let's begin. Alls academic, tenth October two thousand twenty, India. Writing task one. So now, guys, today's writing task one question is: The chart below shows the percentage of young people. In higher education in four different countries in 2000, 2005, and 2010. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make the comparison where relevant. So, guys, here is a bar graph and the percentage of young people in higher education. So, guys, here is the four countries like country A, country B, country C, country D. And so, guys, here is a three years, two thousand, two thousand five, and two thousand ten. Bar so the black bars represent a year two thousand, and the red bars represent a year two thousand five, and the blue bars represent a year two thousand ten. So we will discuss all the bar graph in the upcoming paragraphs. Let's begin the intro. The vertical bar chart compares the proportion of young story in higher education in four different nations between 2000 and 2010. Let's begin the body paragraph one. The most significant growth in youth enrolled in tertiary education was observed in country A and D. In 2000. About thirty-eight percent of young people from country A went to university, up from sixty-two percent in two thousand ten. Similarly, country D also saw a significant increase in the proportion of young people enrolled in tertiary education, with numbers rising from sixty-four percent in two thousand to eighty percent in two thousand ten. Let's begin the body paragraph two. In country C, saw modest growth, with the proportion of youth enrolled in university increasing by six percent to reach fifty-two percent in a decade. Unlike countries A, C, and D, the percentage of youth enrolled in tertiary education in country B fluctuated from forty-six percent to forty-one percent until two thousand five. But then rose slightly to forty-three percent in two thousand ten. Let's begin the conclusion. Overall, it can be seen that among the three countries, country D had the highest percentage of young people enrolled in higher education over a period of years. Furthermore, in all the countries except country B, enrollment of youth has increased over a decade. Thanks for listening God bless you all guys don't forget like subscribe and share my youtube channel and my facebook page all updates are recent exams for more updates related to recent alls exam writing task topics listening reading practices so guys please participate in everyday listening practice test to achieve your desired best score in your alls exam if you want to need pdf of this writing task one please join my telegram channel the link is also given below in the description For more IELTS material, visit my website www.ieltsupdatesandrecentexams.com. If you want to need any kind of change in these writing tasks too, please write your views and suggestions below the comment section. Again, thanks for listening. God bless you all, guys. Stay tuned. Stay safe.